Hey, this is Joe with the Idaho Auction Barn AAA Realty. Got a nice home for you today in Buell, Idaho. I'm going to give you a little virtual tour of it. 629 11th Avenue North. And uh, nice home, uh, you know, mature landscaping, trees and whatnot. We've got vinyl siding on the exterior with a metal roof. So virtually maintenance-free exterior. Foundation looks in really con condition from the outside. The inspector is here today as well, and we might run into him here in a minute. I'll introduce you, but uh, that'll give you, we'll give you that inspection report as well, so you can know what you've got as best as we can before you even come out here and look at it. So let's go take you in through the back yard here real quick. We've got a, uh, that is a spa room right there with a uh, porch, walkout porch up on top, bringing to the garage. The yard's kind of been let go a bit here in the garage. Nice little one car garage. No insulation, nothing to write home about, but you know, it's a roof to keep the birds from pooping on your car. Probably enough room for one car and a couple workbenches on each side. Back outside, I believe I was told that this had, I'll look for it, I thought it was told that this had a sprinkler system but they didn't know if it was in working condition or not. Um, I'll see if I can spot the control for it again ahead and bring it inside so coming in through the side door you walk into the newer edition of the house this was built in the uh, mid 50s it was an extension of the house, so you have a nice little entrance, um, dining room area. There's that spa. The spa is not in working condition, so um, probably just have to be taken out. Uh, I've got a main bathroom here, slash laundry room, and again, it needs some work. There's the laundry room. It's got a wonderful pink cover, isn't it? The plumbing, we're gonna have the plumbing turned off. Um, we don't know, like for instance, that shower right there needs some work for sure. The sink drain has been disconnected. The toilet works as far as that goes, but we are gonna turn the plumbing off, the water off, just so there's no leaks or any issues while this is on the market. Um, down here in the kitchen, nice size kitchen. As far as that goes, got the breakfast buffet. And then into the living room, with nice solid oak floors throughout the house here, at least in the older portion of the house. Um, how about a fireplace? Back here, we got the split bedrooms on each side. There's one there. We got the bathroom. Oh, and I'll have to show you that room from the other direction, sorry. So the bathroom here, again, things are functioning. As of right now, the inspection report will go through a little bit more detail. Kind of give you a quick look around. Not a bad size for a bedroom. Not huge, but not the smallest I've seen, for sure. So this room right here, I just tried to open the door. It wouldn't open because that has another doorway from the back side here. And we have some things that are gonna be sold. These are uh, gonna be sold at an on online auction October 2nd, and this will all be gone. But there's that doorway right there uh, to come back into this bedroom. And they had made another pocket door right there to get to it. So let's take you down in the basement.
So pretty good size basement down in here. Oh, what can you say about a basement? Most of the uh, information here will probably be revealed in the inspection report. Um, I can see where they've been, you know, sorry, the exposure just changed. They can been doing some stuff with the wiring. Um, doesn't look like they finished. I see some knob and tube up there. I see some new wiring, um, galvanized pipes. Looks like this is the main water shut off for probably the house as well as the sprinkler system. Right there. And again, I thought sure they said there was, and I'm looking for it now. Little pantry area back there. They had um, purchased this electrical panel to put in, but never did get it done. There's the electrical panel. And you can see the crawl space to the new portion of the house. Got a cracked window right there going outside. Uh, gas furnace, central heating. It is not on right now, the gas is off. So I don't know if we'll be able to tell you much about that. Uh, all in all, looks like things are pretty sound as far as structure goes. I don't see any major issues or problems that way. Um, but let's go ahead and go on upstairs. And then back up to the second story. So this room right here, uh, what you'd call probably a bonus room or a bedroom, I think it's been classed in the public documents as a bedroom. And this would be probably what you'd consider the master. Nice size walk-in closet. I'd like to see you buy a color like that at Home Depot today. So again, things need to be updated, but structurally we're not seeing anything as of yet with any major problems. Electric heater there to keep this room. How about a fireplace? And then out to the porch. So this porch was a freestanding porch set up um, you know, it's not just a roof that they were standing on and then they added the they enclosed it Later on she said so it used to be just a actual porch that was enclosed And then here's my inspector Jeff from blue wing inspections. Let me get the camera to pan up there Good morning. Hey Jeff, so he'll have his report in here as well. If you guys have any questions. Give me a call. Thanks